Auditions are upon us for the Roadshow's Search for a Star. We caught up with one of our judges, Tony Bristol, from 92 Pro FM and Light Rock 105 to get some words of advice on what he'll be looking for at the auditions. I'm looking really at uh, someone's uh, ambition, someone's heart. You can tell when someone's heart is really into it. The top five contestants will go head-to-head -head in challengers showcasing their creativity, ability to produce a story, and interviewing skills. Time for some weird news now. And here's a meal that'll break your diet. A bacon cheeseburger donut. That's the newest goodie at Big E in West Springfield, Massachusetts. It's called the Crazy Burger, which is a bacon cheeseburger between the halves of Honey Glazed Donut. Don't tell Melissa Rector from Gold's Gym. The treat packs 1,500 calories. Moving on now. Today in, in, the ro in the road home. It's a Rhode Island tradition, 33 years in the making. Trinity Reps, A Christmas Carol, has become a planned holiday event for so many families. And for the last six years, over 1,200 children under the age of 13 have auditioned to become a part of the show. And once again, the auditions will take place at Cardi's Furniture Superstores in South Outerboro. All the information can be found by going to foxprovidence.com. Sean, how are we doing this morning? Uh, fantastic. How are you? I'm great. Now, topic of discussion today. Mm. I don't know if you've heard about it, but the Red Cup Coalition. The Red Cup Coalition. What is this? This is action being taken towards the Providence College and URI students okay. in order to minimize the partying going on in residential areas that are notoriously known for party areas. Yeah. Now, did you go to school in Rhode Island? You know what? No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't live in a dorm either. You, you didn't? Know? I always wanted to. I visited a couple times, but I never, never lived in one. Well, you obviously know about the college lifestyle. Yeah. Do you think it's fair for the residents of the local areas to come up with this now? Why now? Why, well, I think with the amount of drunk driving that exists and, and the, the, the school doesn't want to be liable, I'd imagine, hey, you know what, take the alcohol out of their hands and you wouldn't have a problem. Right. Well, there are a lot of, there is a lot of opposition mm -hmm. to the coalition and a lot of local students are actually trying to basically say why, why over the past 10 years or so, these, these residential areas have been, they have had students living in them. So what do you think the residents should do in order to plead their case? I'm not quite sure, honestly. I, I you know, if, if uh, so the residents, they don't want them to be drinking in the area, right? They want to try and get the parties almost completely out. Well, I mean, you know, if it's, it just should follow the law. I mean, if they're, if they're annoying the neighbors, then they should be found on a noise order, or ordinance, you know? Right. I figure that's the be easy as that. And in the opposite, what do you think the students have as almost a, a reaction towards towards? They're positive. Well, I mean, the students should just pull all their money together and then buy a big plot of land in Newport, and mm -hmm. then they won't have to deal with noise ordinances. That they can is just a great ha idea. have parties and tents. That's what they do down there. Well, we should definitely, <laughs> definitely bring that up to them. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>